Welcome to this tutorial on creating slideshows in WordPress. Um, I'm going to start with this blog post that I've already created here on studying abroad in London and Paris, hosted by the School of Journalism and Mass Communication. Um, this is a blog post that's already been posted, and so all the you know text is up there and the links are in and everything. Um, but what I also want to put in this post is not just one photo, but several photos, and I want to create a slideshow. And so what I'm going to do to do that is pretty simple. I'm just going to click Add Media, and from there it looks just like if I was going to upload a regular image, all I would do is just select my file and, um, and upload it and put it in. But this time, instead of just uploading a photo, I want to upload lots of photos. And so I'm going to click Create Gallery up here in the top left. And when I click Create Gallery, now, when I upload those photos, I'm going to go ahead and navigate to the study abroad trip. I'm, you, you can just select all by uh, clicking the first one and dragging down, or you can hold the Shift button and drag them uh, from there, or you can select just certain photos by, if you're on a Mac, holding the Command button, and if you're on a PC, holding the Control button. And so I want all of these photos uploaded. I'm going to go ahead and click them all and press open. And I'm going to watch them all update. You can see they're all slowly updating. Now, it's only going to put in my slideshow the ones that have these checkboxes by them. And so because all the ones I just uploaded have checkboxes, I'm going to go ahead and press create new gallery. And now from here, you're able to move the photos around if you want to. You can rearrange them and you can also add captions. Um, I highly recommend adding captions. Um, in fact, uh, captions are required for um, the photo slideshow uh, requirement on the blog. And so um, there's no real art to a caption. You really want to provide the user with an idea of what is going on in the image and then also um, give photo credit to whoever took that photo. So obviously the person who took it was you, so um, you can choose to caption yourself, uh, give yourself the credit or not. But I do want you to write something in the caption. And this is particularly important when you're trying to tell a story using photos. Um, because photos can only do so much, really, um, and without some context and without some text, um, the user really doesn't know what they're looking at. And so obviously there's lots of pictures here of students um, in the UK, and so this is last year's trip, and so this 2014 trip, and so um, I'm going to start it out with this really fun photo of them jumping up and down. Um, and the reason is because usually in a photo um, story you want to give the user an establishing shot um, so usually it's going to be a wide shot it's going to be something that is um, kind of just shows the whole big picture of what's happening um, you don't want it to be a close-up or something too unique um, I might also choose this one you know um, but at the same time you want maybe maybe I'll choose this fun one for the very end and I'll have this group picture to be the very beginning now if I knew um, everything that was going on um, on this trip, I could caption it appropriately, but I didn't really go on the trip, so I don't know. Um, another thing you want to do when you're trying to organize your photos is you want them to um, kind of be a little bit diverse in terms of wide shots, medium shots, close-ups. Um, obviously, these three photos can probably go together since they're very similar. Um, but but think about how you're going to tell your story. Um, so there's lots of different ways to tell a photo story. One of those ways is chronologically. And so um, if you were covering an event like a marathon or something, you would want to you know show the the starting line, and you would get everybody in that um, in that first shot. And then maybe your next shot would be a close up of the the gun going off. Um, and then the next shot would be people's feet, a medium shot or something like that. But um, in your coverage. Um, of an event or whatever your 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 photo slideshow is going to be on, um, you do want to mix up your shots a little bit. So wide shots, medium shots, close-ups. Um, now some other options in terms of telling your story would be not just chronologically, but um, you know, say you're doing a how-to, um, and you need to put um, that's kind of chronological, but it's also um, you're setting up the stage. Um, so you could um, set up your props and take pictures and, and do what you need to do. But even in those uh, situations, you do want to make sure you have close-ups and wide shots and medium shots as well, especially when you're dealing with very detailed 
um, things like a DIY project or something that somebody might want to zoom in on. So um, all that to say, um, a lot more goes into a photo slideshow than just plopping up on there and then calling it good and pressing publish. Um, you do want to spend time writing your captions um, and crediting the people who took the photos and then moving um, these photos around into the right order. So I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time doing that, but I do want to mix it up between people, photos of people, and photos of the buildings and things. I think it helps mix it up a little bit um, when you do that. Now, now that I have them all selected, over here on the right, um, you have some options in terms of how to link them. Um, I usually don't link the files. Um, and what that means is going to link to the original large photo. I think the photo slideshow is big enough to where you don't need to link it to the original file. Um, and then from there you can choose um, how you want them to be viewed um, in terms of whether it's a thumbnail grid, which is not very effective, um, a tile mosaic, squared tiles, you can kind of experiment with those. But um, definitely the best way to do this would be to click slideshow. That way everyone knows you're looking at a slideshow. Um, so when we're grading these, we're going to look for it to be on a slideshow. You can use other um, slideshows if you want to and turn them into these circles, squares, mosaics. But um, definitely for grading, we're going to at least one of your photo slideshows need to be um, one of the slideshow. Then from there, um, you go through each photo. And as you select it, you'll see that it's got a certain title. And so I'm going to call this group uh, Texas State. Um, this helps with search engine optimization, as so does the alt text. Um, and so you guys learned about those for the HTML project. So use um, alt text to provide uh, tags for your photo. So group Texas State, um, Bobcats, um, UK, um, Paris, you know, whatever you might want to put in there to kind of tag your photo. And then obviously you can put your caption here or over here. Um, and then you might want to give it a description as well. Um, and the, again, these help with search engine optimization and the captions obviously help tell your story. So I'm going to go ahead and press insert gallery. Okay. And I'm going to press preview changes and I'm going to take a look at it. And there it is. And it works. Perfect. And that's pretty much it. You can always go back into your image and press the little edit button if you want to rearrange things and then go ahead and press update gallery and it will do that. And just go ahead and update your slideshow and that is pretty much it.